Okay, people. Welcome to Out by the Curb. And we are with Officer Friendly and the Friendlies. Officer Friend and the Lees. So, what's going on here, you guys, is uh, these officers have been kind enough to ask us to move, and they are occupying their spot, which they feel is rightfully theirs, because they are officers. It says, reserved, here's what the sign says, reserved for police vehicles only. Oh. Hey, one of those horses sound like it's in distress. Oh, that's animal abuse. Oh. I've got it on film. Yep, I've got this on. Yeah, this is going to YouTube, guys. Yep. Yeah, uh, over at the uh, Occupy office. That's Officer Brute right there. He's stretched. Did you see those biceps? Man. This is Donut McPigley right here. <laughs> Donut McPigley. Donut, I, I stand corrected. Donut McPigley. You can't have that camera here, sir. Oh, hold it. We're going to send in the no SWAT media. team. No, no media. There is no, no media, media here. here. Um, no media. I don't know what to say. Oh, I, I will practice no my, my, uh, no what is it called? It's, uh. De-escalation skills. You're gonna get yeah, I'll give you de-escalation skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm down. De-escalation. I'm being pepper sprayed. Ow, it burns. And I'm being beat. I'm being beat by these vicious brutes. Oh my God, do you guys see this? Is, is it be, being witnessed? Oh my God, I'm, I'm just being beat mercilessly about my body, about the head. They are taking no pity. I'm down. I'm, Stop resisting arrest. I'm, oh, it, it hurts. Why are you it resisting arrest? Stay I'm, still, sir. I'm, 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 we told you okay, to I'm, stay down. Okay, I'm, I'm going to drop the camera. You have a lot of so, process instructions. So, okay. Take it to up, we can trample them. <laughs> you said take the tobacco. That was great, you guys. Oh. As you guys witnessed, I was pepper sprayed, and it was a horrible experience. And I am going to go find me an attorney. Uh, uh, uh. A civil attorney because uh, my civil rights were were uh, viciously viciously violated. So uh, you guys saw that, and our officers was kind to come over here and display and let me know who's the boss. I don't you forget it. The the DOJ would love to have this video and not saying that the Department of Justice is bad because I mean one police is a police they're all police so but I, I think a great police is a police that police is the other police so we need somebody to police these guys now because these guys are out of control they they follow us everywhere they're at all of our meetings I mean uh, marches and meetings. These guys. Marches. Those guys right there. So we're we're here in in front of this is their home office, you guys. This is the uh, the Justice Center. It should say punitive center. Oh yeah. And these guys represent that look look they're standing tall they have their their uh, restraints and they have their uh, their vehicles of transportation and they have their billy clubs which by the way hurt That's the SWAT team. oh 
they're specialists. Oh my God. My attorney would be would love to hear that now that these guys are actually specialists. So that's great to hear. Those may be undercover officers right over there. Oh, over? Just the way they're jumping around there. <laughs> Okay. And that was a comrade. That was one of their comrades. That was one of their comrades telling them to take it down off the stairs. So. Still filming? We told you to stop filming. Oh, oh, there it is. It's the beatings again. All right. So what 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 happened was uh one of their comrades, and and this is what it says to uh, get it all. It says and do that. Hmm. I wonder if we did that graffiti. That that guy was stern. <laughs> he came out like uh, like uh, this was a home invasion. Can you get off my porch, please? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, so hey, you guys, this is a this is an all nighter, and we got the uh, SWAT team here. Oh, the, the, hey, that. A pedestrian walking down the street, observing, minding his own business, has caught heat. I'm on the This park is seventy-eight thousand dollars worth of damage. Don't you see it? I Look at that. Okay, this is what Hayseed is being blamed for doing. The park is in ruins. Look at all these leaves that are on the ground, people, and the grass is turning yellow. So, uh, but you know what? I can, I can, I can say this. We're lucky the police are here. There is nothing wrong with the trees because back in the day, I remember when we used to carve Kilroy was here. You can see where they climb. Yeah, you can see up there where the people did inhabit the trees. So, there's nothing wrong with the trees, but there happened to have been something apparently wrong with the park. And 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 I can I can say this too. I can say this. There was nothing wrong with the benches. Uh, supposedly the benches cost about what? About twenty five a piece. Or eight thousand dollars a piece. Oh, hey people, these guys right here, and you guys are not gonna come in and not say anything. So you guys better say something, or I'll be sending these guys to visit you, cause hey, we know where you live, at least for tonight. And these guys can do it in 3D too. They could come through the screen. So. <laughs> That's great. Hey, so one went off to go get more people. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. It's showtime.
Right there, Woohoo! Do you see that? That was a swat right there, buddy. SWAT team. Well, hey, those guys are very dangerous. Right on. Um. Thanks. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he needs a new opening line when it comes to dealing with uh, good-looking females. Not what are you guys up to, you know. It's, you know, like, hey, you guys think I could get in on this? You know, that's what he he would have had. It would have probably been more effective. Like, yeah, you can put your, you can put your, you can put your bike right here by our other uh, vehicles. Of, of modes of transportation and uh, get in line. <laughs> have to start carrying more of swatters. Hey, they got a team. They got like about seven people. So, uh, no, I am. The first time I encountered them was uh, was uh, F twenty. No, uh, January, February. F twenty nine. No. Yep, yep, I stand corrected, it was. And these guys was brewed in. They wouldn't let, them, let the people put their signs up. And then it's like a band came in and, and had to coo the savage beasts. Here come the officers. Oh. Undercover officers. Undercover. Okay, Watch out, there's a side out there. Yeah. Nice thought. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a picture of you. I don't care what you say. Uh-oh. And we have, we have a civilian that is civil disobedience, and she's going to take their picture anyway. Specialist, SWAT team. And they're loving it because they're getting, there's big Kool-Aid smiles all over for these guys. <laughs> right on. Horses in distress. Are, those horses look underfed. Because, hey, I'll call the ASPC on you guys. Oh, and in walks. I'm going to handcuff myself. It's okay, officers. <laughs> okay, this man knows. He knows the routine, the position. So, to handcuff himself. Yes. I looked. You know, it looks harder to break those police cars from the outside than it does on the inside. Oh. Okay, yeah. That one. That one, you guys actually saw a part of the SWAT team that was violence. These pedestrians was in civil disobedience, and they're doing nothing wrong, and you are witnessing it. They're being swatted, viciously swatted. This park is under protection. Now they have placed the park under protection. Right on. Great answers. Great. I am not from around these parts, so that can be used when corresponding back and forth. Oh, now he's pulling rank here. He's he's trying to show his authority, assertive authority. Right on, you guys too. Thank you. 
and uh, some more fine citizens that have been educated on our protest. And I think they will go home and, and look up Occupy. What is this Occupy that everybody keeps talking about? Okay, they are actually looking at something. Oh, there it is. That, See, this that's, is, looking at that is an eerie thought right there because it does match us. <laughs> yes. And that is a sign, you guys. Like the like the number of the beast is a sign, but look at that, you guys. Look, look, look. you guys see the waffle in the wind windowing right there, and then they got the same waffling pattern on their swatters. So, uh, which probably a conspiracy, which leads me to believe that their viciousness is caused by the fact that they have some some type of a uh, connection with this. You know, like, hey, this is our mascot. There it is, guys. The building. The building. That is scary. So, uh, right on. You guys want to say something else? Um, anything? Violation of section code 9999.99%. Uh oh. Eating donuts without sharing. Who? Oh. This man is in jeopardy of being arrested for eating a donut in front of the SWAT team. Get him! Get him! Oh! <laughs> Witnessed again! Third victim! Third victim! Third victim in one hour, you guys! Third victim in one hour! Hey, brother, if you gave me one, I'd be happy to do it. Hey, I'm Union. There it is. My union is there to serve and protect me. Yep. Just ask his uh, buddy, Officer Fresh Shower. Oh no, we're fine. Excuse me, Harper. It happens. Calling me Harper. It is. Um. Is this is this what you guys call guerrilla theater? This is guerrilla theater. It is. This is not guerrilla theater. Right on. You guys are great. No, for real. I'm, I'm serious. When I first saw you guys, I was like, oh, man, this is cool. Yeah. And then the fact that you guys, your batons, the ones that went bam, bam, when you guys swung them, did, didn't they make some sounds? Your batons? They didn't? The, okay, right. The horses. Okay, right. You guys are doop, 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 doop. Hey, these guys are great, you guys. And then it's like, as they evolve. The is way too big. Hi! <laughs> bribery! Bribery! I'll get you nowhere! These guys are great! I love these two guys! They just came in and they threw a bribe in there and, and it's fitting. All right. Random people walk around with donuts. Donuts? They're pigs, aren't they? Of course they like them. Thank you. <laughs> you people were more fun, you'd have a donut. Oh, right. Wow, yeah. I can't <laughs> oh, well. Yours I'm look interesting. Buddy. No, hey. Do you realize you're eating a sandwich in public? Yes, I do. <laughs> Carry on. Really, I feel that way sometimes. 
No, hey, remember what I was saying? You decorate the donut, guys, and that's what people are paying for. The sugar and the fact that it's a donut, those days are over. Now you got to come up with a gimmick that makes the donut look <laughs> delicious. Would you like a donut, sir? It's half eaten. <laughs> I'll give you the first half. Did you hear the guy that came outside? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he had to get involved. You know, he he would have been just better off just staying indoors. He just wanted to be on camera. Yep, I'm going to say that's exactly what it was. What? Oh, it's those guys that's going up to YouTube and stuff. I better get out there. <laughs> you have a mustache. <laughs> you think I'm satisfied? I'd be satisfied after that, don't I? But I'm not. Right on. These pigs are pointing out some important stuff. <laughs> they are. Watch that sidewalk, uh, mustache, uh, vehicle costing more than the home. Hey, that's... Window roll down, come oh, on. Oh, window roll down, right. No, hey. And that is, that's, that's dangerous stuff. That's dangerous stuff. Oh. That guy has somewhere to be. That's the chief? Looked like he had his hat on backwards. That's got to be fine. <laughs> yeah, the chief. He said, "We better. I better get out of this uh, area really fast. They ain't supposed to know I'm working on Sundays." Whoa! Did I just say that out loud? That guy works on Sundays, even. You see, and that's it. That dude needs the Lord in his life. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be at work on Sunday. You're supposed to be at church. Justice never sleeps. There it is. Straight. From Officer Donut McPigley. Do Goodness. Donut McPigley. <laughs> I, I I will not get that wrong again because that beating they put on me earlier. <laughs> For real. That could be the Jesus Center. Nope. That's Donut McPigley's home. That's the home of the SWAT team. Only because the waffle window, you guys, the waffle window resembles their... Yes, I must depart after that Jesus comment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right on. <laughs> hey, after after getting maced or zapped or hit with one of the billy clubs, I almost sure you wouldn't be saying, "Oh God, no." Barry is over in front of the bathroom. Engaging a citizen. <laughs> you okay? Right on. Uh, I'm There's people in the park. They're occupying it. Uh-oh. 
that sounded like um, we better roll out. It just came over the radio that there are people occupying the park. <laughs> it's good. No. Right on. I said it. It was said. It can't be unsaid. It was said, right. and it cannot be unsaid. Here's a 99er occupying the park. 99 is occupying the park. Watch out. Uh-oh. Defiant. He's smoking. Looks like it's... Ooh. And smoking. You realize you're sitting in a public space. Carry on. <laughs> With what looks like a blunt. And that's how you do it, guys. When they're hitting you, you ball up. You go into a ball form, and that's great protection because your muscles tense up, and they can take the blunt of the force that's being dealt to you. So that was great. Thank you. I think that guy's cigar was a little bit big for this part. <laughs> More graffiti on the ground, you guys. This is, this is sidewalk chalk art that can be easily washed off in the rain or takes takes no money whatsoever oh they are huh <laughs> hey right on fuzzy hey they 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 uh this is going on all night, so I'll, I'll be in and out to uh, charge in, and uh, but this is going on all night. Okay, right on. Good dog. Good dog. These officers are coming through here and making sure making sure everything is okay so watch out jump the grass you saw it carry on very very expensive we have standards right now you know and one of our standards is um Snap. do not have sex with cops do not think cops are hot do not even talk to cops right so don't try to look for Thank the you. cops because we have standards Of course, you can never offer a cup of drink. Oh, no. Good. Where is it? That's my left. Fucking hilarious. Fuck yeah. Is it the same music? Yes. Would you care to be made? Oh, don't! Hey! Would you like to be made? The horses are. Oh! Oh, right! These are cows! These. Okay, you guys. These are obviously officers that are used to taking matters into their own hands, and I do believe a review board needs to examine this. We are the review board. 
got to believe that. You got to love it, man. Because, hey, when, 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 when the cops are around and, and, and then and, and you just say, hey, officer, I'm part of the review board. You guys are under the scrutiny of my eye now. And once they hit me with the pepper mace, I can't see anymore. And they hit me with their billy club, and instead of saying, yeah, good. Oh, no, it burns again! Call that out. <laughs> it's like he's holding a Canuck with honey, honey. Uh, uh, oh, this is rabbit. This and is do rabbit. not look at her. Look at look the eyes. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, yep. No, the rabbit's asleep right now. It's not done. So, he's hanging out. Very careful, there is a lot of damage in this park. Oh, I know, we damaged this park like no longer. All right. Oh my God. And this is why I love her, because she says she did it. I did it. I <laughs> rolled around this chair for like eight weeks straight. Guess what I got? <laughs> I All right. Right, right on. I dressed up like snake claws. It's a sports seed, don't worry, They will. They will be. For real. They will be. And this part, you guys. That was funny. So. This is what was said, and uh, if you guys saw that, she wasn't pointing at me. She was pointing at the building. We're here to serve you, which she pointed at her, and then said, not them, which went over my head. <laughs> said I was sorry, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> 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 the kids in jail right now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> too much chocolate hey you guys were supposed to laugh at that i did not mean to get anybody serious because <laughs> it was funny you're always gonna get me serious when you talk shit no hey because she said we're here to we're here to protect you not them and and it was hilarious because yeah the the the, <laughs> the 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 thing went over my head <laughs> so i was like oh right on the gel's right there actually no hey if i love to walk into them guys when they're funny, guys, that's hilarious. Fun of people and like just talk about shit. Oh, that's what we've been like, doing. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, like you don't need like, glasses. Like, 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 don't talk about. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Like, you want me to hit you with my mouth and That's what I was fucking doing. Watch your shit. Just beat the crap out of somebody on the bench over there. I was like, oh, do you want to have a piece of me? I'm gonna hurt you. You right on. I love these guys. They didn't say that their first victim was a colored man. True. But I. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't ask. <laughs> no, that's okay. My fault. See. Okay. I said I was sorry, guys. And now this is all meant for humor. It's hilarious. It's meant all in fun, you guys. So I'll personally take responsibility if anybody gets offended. No, I would actually. <laughs> My t-shirt actually offends a lot of people. Uh, okay. yeah. Alright, we can arrange that. Yeah, do that. Okay, right. right. <laughs> I think I know that guy. <laughs> oh, right on. Oh, like, what's a, a food, a eatery? Right on. Hell yeah, right on. Right on, right on. Yep, I can tell. Oh, yeah, hey, it's the SWAT team. You don't want to figure it out, man, because they're their weapons. Okay, that dog's not like uniform. It's got some change. We are not mailman. It's all right. Okay, that's the dog. Yeah, hey, ain't that the truth? There, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's good. And, and this, 
this is better than cops, you guys, because this is a real episode. This is out by the curb. Uh oh. They are calling for a loud voice. The rainbow is over here, Toto! Sample your wares. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Gotta clear the street again. You're not allowed to sit on that wall, sir. Can't get that wall. That wall. You're on it. Carry on. Oh shit! We got a soundtrack. Right. It's a riot. Dancing in the streets, you guys. This is dancing in the streets, you guys. There is civil disobedience out here tonight. Oh, snap! Okay. Okay. Huh? I don't know any okay, of those Okay, we don't know either. Do you want to make a phone call or something? Oh, you guys trying to confuse me? Do you want to make a phone call? I'll give you the phone. There's that look again. I can do the Out by the curb. Dial it, push the buttons. Yeah. I'll, tell, I'll have the conversation. All right. Keep me in the hot spot. So, uh, the colonel has a miniature guitar on his back, which I shouldn't be calling it that because I know the name of it. Mandolin. Mandolin. Mandolin but uh, I said I was sorry, guys. No, we got it. Okay. Everybody will know after a while. So, um, what's going here on here, Colonel? Can I ask? What? Who? Okay. Um, yeah. This is obviously the wrong person to be asking. So, Duh. let's let's ask this gentleman over here. Can, can I ask you, <laughs> what's going on here? It's we, an art fair. Yes. Cultural. Yes. Cultural exhibit. art fair. Exhibit, yes. And and you know what, yeah. people? You guys come on down or uh, join the show. and um, Come as you are. Come as you are or come in costume. No, I thought that's how they were. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you killing me. And there's our soundtrack across the street. Oh, I tell you, I'm on my side of the line. It's Barry Joe. It's oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was uh, confidential. Private, confidential. Yeah, just, I said, my wife. Conspiracy meeting. <laughs> oh, vicious police dog. Get it. Kill it. Subdue him. Okay. Right on. You're you're on TV just in case.
big ass stage. <gasps> oh, and they're talking about. Oh. Hey, you want to go light one of those? Sure. Paraffin candles. Paraffin. Yeah. And as many as you want. Okay. Right on, Joseph. My dude, man. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. This is, man, this is good stuff. Right on, you guys. I was saying, uh, so uh, are you guys here for the for the evening? Uh, the, the action? Yeah, we're, we're here for uh, at least a little while. Uh, oh, right on. We got some out of towners, you guys. Some visitors. Out of town career activists. Career activists. So I, 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 I'm not a career. I, I just this is my first year at it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, well, it's a new career for you then. Um. Yeah, kind of. I, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm still like undecided because, it's like, uh, you know, people can be really mean. They can. Yeah. Yes. You know, it, the, the, the. Uh, the, the people that you're uh, protesting against and then the, the, the anti-protesters. That's interesting. I've been at a, a rally to support the idea of creating jobs, things for people to do. Right on, right. Where there are jobless people. And, and you don't folks get to... are holding signs up that say jobs now. Right. And somebody actually drove by and yelled, get a job. Get a job, yeah, like get that. Get a job, really aggressive. Right. And they, they meant it. No, right. They, they do because <laughs> there's a huge disconnect. We we get a yeah. It, we 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 get yeah. a guy that come through here in the mornings that think it's really okay to um blow his horn. Me 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 me. And I'm like, whoa! Is he really trying to wake just us to up? Rude. Yeah, just matters. to be rude, and he's serious about it. Cause he does it every morning, you know, and it's and 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 I'm and that's what I'm saying, you know, that's what keeps me indecisive, you know, because you know at one time, you know, maybe I don't expect it, but you know, somebody might come out one day really angry, upset that you know life didn't give them a fair shake, yeah, and take it out on the protesters. You're the reason life didn't give me a fair shake. There is, see, and that's what yeah. keeps me, and, and, and see, and I'm, I'm, hey, my man here, I'm looking for him to tell me, no, no, don't be indecisive, be, career protesting is cool, because you get to help a lot of people, and, and they give me the pros and stuff, and he, but he's playing the devil advocate on this side, on this side, on the this side. The thing is more uh, a reference to a news idea that went around that was meant to cast people involved in activism or hey can i, I put like you on the uh, on youtube yeah if you want. hell yeah but uh the, the career protester reference is just this thing that was going around on the news and with right-wing punditry trying to mock people who are heavily involved in activism oh, right. around the different cities and stuff and they usually say it with derision in the voice like career protesters oh right, right. Around, yada, 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 okay and so on so I, I said that tongue in cheek about us because we've been we go to events where we go. But, right on. You know, it's just one facet of our lives. So. You know uh, the one gal that I admired, the one whose uh, her son uh, was shot and died in the army, um, and and she blamed. Sheehan. Yes, yeah, Sheehan. Yeah. She blamed Bush. You know, yeah. I really admired her. First, she went around to different states trying to trying to get the uh, you know, hey, you know this this dude. This dude uh, uh, recruited our sons, you know, barely 18, 19, 20 years old, barely legal to get into the bars. And then, and all he sent me was this letter that said, you know, your son was cool yeah. and uh, we're sorry that this happened to him. Well, and it's a, obviously it's just a copy. Right. Yeah. And, and she, she flipped, hey, and she, hey, you know what? 
she did more than I would have did. I probably would have accepted the letter, you know, like, because yeah. I'm helpless. But she felt she wasn't helpless. She felt that there was Americans out here that would side with her, and I was one of them. I said, good job, girl. Is she from this area? Or? No, she's, she, I'm going to say she's from back east. But when she went out there and camped in front of his home, yeah. hey, a lot of people went out there with her. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to get up and go over there and do that with her. You know, I said, man, you're right, lady. You are damn right. You know what? Because that man should be held accountable for all the lives that are lost over there. He sent the soldiers over there, so you become responsible. Yes, if they don't come back. Good night, officer. It was fun. Come back again. We'll be back. I'm, I mean... Sorry, right there. <laughs> right on. Right on, Fuzzy. Said, uh, Fuzzy says, uh, I heard that so much as a kid. Get a job, hippie. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, uh, we got viewers on right now. We're, yeah, yeah. And, and it's good, you know, because we get different people and stuff. And like, I'm, I'm just learning this thing. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm learning to, uh, to, to so go up. Can't get airbrushed? Huh? Like, oh. Touch up my, my skin or anything. Um. Oh, hey, if I touch the screen, it'll come in clear or something. No. <laughs> Great smile, man. Right on. No, for real. <laughs> so. Why, why are you guys at, at home right now watching? Um, half of the half of our viewers is from out of town. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's it's getting better all yeah. the time. And and you know they uh they're probably uh you know avid participants in their in their cities and stuff. But and 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 you can tell because they're saying, you know what? Oh shit! Portland, Oakland, Sacramento, yeah. Washington D.C. Hey, at the flick of a button. Don't you like the internet? I love it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I can say like this, right guys? Text. Over to Africa somewhere. Teach me how to make a bomb. <laughs> Send. It comes right back. Fuck off, motherfucker. <laughs> Are you the pigs? And I go. You know what? You just lost out. <laughs> That's a, the internet, you know. Yeah, no. You can learn anything. Uh, somebody is willing to be out there that say, send me the money and I'll come to you. It's a pretty good deal. Now people can actually communicate less censored. And I can't be told it's um, harder for the media to tell me that the people of Iraq are boogeymen or the people of Iraq. Oh, right. Are right. It's hard, yes. I can jump online. Right. And find out. Find out. Find out. Do... Tell me what's going on over there, man. Eat food and eat piss and shit and fuck like I do, and that maybe I shouldn't be scared of them and want to kill them. Right. Hey, that's like uh, like for like the last uh, a couple weeks ago, I heard that uh, you trying to say something? Hell no. Okay. For like uh, a couple weeks ago, man, we heard that uh, Anaheim was in this blackout, martial law blackout what thing. That? Right. Right. They and some so. Police officer murdered somebody down there. Yeah, a police officer. Yeah. Did dude in, right? Some bystander or something, right? right? Well, but that's not. Uh, so I got relatives that live down there, yeah. and I said, "Hey, hey guys, um, not to alarm anybody, but uh, I was like, hey, uh, are you guys okay? Can I can I call you guys, like shoot you guys some some email or something?" And they was like, "99, what the hell is wrong with you, man? You dude, you don't even call us, but yet you you all of a sudden get this notion to call us and ask us some stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> Serious. Serious, man. And then I was like, well, I was like, hey guys, how are you guys doing anyway? <laughs> like, no, no, I haven't seen my my relatives in like 20 years, but I all of a sudden, and and these are part of the family that. I haven't called yet. I don't called everybody but these guys. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's like I call them and ask them, "Hey, man, um, is it okay? Can, can we? 
are you guys okay down there? Is anything going on that we should know about? And and they were like, what the hell are you on, brother? You know, this is what you called to say. You, you ain't seen us. And then, and you call to ask this. And I was like, oh, you guys don't even know, huh? And they was like, no, what? Well, no, no, they didn't know I was part of Occupy, you know, that I joined this this protest group and stuff, you know. They thought I was calling to ask them for some money or something, or, hey, can I come home? <laughs> After 20 years, you know, yeah, I should want to come home, but, hey, there's something more important going on, and when I'm through with this, I'll be home. <laughs> Said I was sorry. <laughs> Hey, considering I missed the uh, family reunion, I was supposed to go, but um, I was like, um, damn, you know, because, well, you know, being gone that long, being gone for so long, and, uh, oh, she has to, because she could charge me up and stuff. Oh, right on. What are you going to do about that? Um, I got to drop something. <laughs> That's cool. But, uh. Been gone for so long, you know, you would think that I would, you know, they are my family, they're blood, and I should say, oh, yeah, I want to see these guys, when I do, but, you know, something in the 20 years that I've been gone, I, I there's a new me, so I, a rebirth, and now I got to treat them like I just met them. I don't know why it happens like that, but my mind is clicking on, on, on these cylinders of 20 years of just re- uh, readjusting to not having my immediate family around right there to ask, hey, help me get out this bind, you know, so, but right on, guys, hey, thank you guys, man, uh, if you guys drink coffee, you guys find a cup, we got coffee, and we got hot water for tea, you know, and we got hot water for tea, awesome. yes, you know, and hey, it's all caffeinated, so if you guys are uh, non-caffeine, you guys don't want to be messing with that stuff. So, right on, you guys. Enjoy your evening and stuff. And, hey, thank you guys for coming and stuff, you know. For real. You Thanks, everyone, for doing everything all around. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk, man. Thank you. That's real talk. You know, hey, if, if, if I can be a thorn in these motherfuckers' sight, hell yeah, you know. I'm going to be the sharpest and blackest one. Because they'll say, damn, this thorn hurts. And it's usually the blackest one, man. I can see it. Give me the um tweezers. Give me the tweezers, man. And and, and then, because you got to go like this, right? You got to brush it. No, man, don't do it because it hurts. It hurts. You got to brush it to get a hold of it. Ow, stop, dude. Hey, and then they keep, you know, you, right on. Some huh? Hey, hey, right on, brother. Thank you, man. Uh, hey, man, if we have bread, brother, you do trades. Fuzzy said, hope they hang around for vigil meeting tomorrow. Five o'clock. Same, same spot? Yep, same spot. Well, oh yeah, at five o'clock we have a vigil meeting right here. Um, 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 we, we got a, uh, I heard she's supposed to be showing up tonight. And, um, but um, we have uh, just a to reassess our camaraderie with one another and then at seven o'clock our meeting spills over into the GA over there over at Shrunk Plaza and I think they're starting to have it now at Shrunk Plaza to get like I mean because right here immediately these are the people that we should be pointing our fingers at and, and uh, you know picking on and, and saying you know like I, I'm you guys um Hey, no, 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 no. I don't believe that thing works, and I'm not sold on one of those. Uh, they talking about a hand crank charger, so I'm really skeptic about that. They work. It's a lot of work, though. You got to constantly 
Oh, yeah, I, hey, I'm busy, I'm busy using my hands for other things, guys, more important things. <laughs> but no, I made this sign right here, and uh, it's a great sign, and uh, I got to show my people, and uh, so this sign, you guys, this sign says, further notes that providing a flexible and inexpensive solution and then it goes on to say the robot cost twenty two thousand dollars and then I added my own little special line in there the Lou one hundred thousand dollars there's that look guys which one should have the most technology in it the twenty two thousand dollar gadget or the one hundred thousand dollar gadget yep there it is people they said my Lou costs more than a robot that's designed to build other robots uh, manufacture things uh, the Lou that I use costs more money than a robot that's designed to make other robots that design things that that uh, manufacture things okay yeah the robot costs twenty-two thousand dollars. Watch, look. That thing right there costs twenty-two thousand dollars. The designer and the guy that built it says it. Okay. Now the Lou, the Lou, right, is the little silver bathrooms, the new ones you guys see peppering the city. No, I haven't seen them. Oh, there's one like at the waterfront. It's a little silver gel cell looking thing. It's a uh, uh, stainless steel. Yeah. Got a cool light in it. Um, um, it's air vented so you can see if anybody's in it. That's it's designed so officers can see if there's somebody in there or not. And then, well, that thing costs a hundred thousand dollars. And it, and uh, if if you've been in jail before, it's the same uh, design as their the latrines, okay. the, the silver yeah, stainless steel cold, commode, different. yeah, cold and shit, and then the little water thing in there, the water, and then uh, a handle to help people get up that, that can't get up or sit down. So that thing costs $100,000. Yeah. And the robots that make it cost no. more than that? No. Yeah. Less no, it costs less than it. Less than it. Oh, yeah. Oh, doesn't this demonstrate the futility of capitalism in our current work system, though? Well, I mean, you have to make room for some sort of utopian future where you accept that people don't have to work as much as they once did, and you're going to have to share. Which, well, I mean, if the robots are doing more, the people have less to do. They, well, so okay, in a, a, in a way, to live, though, so people aren't getting wages now that used to do that. In a way, they're gonna they're talking about bringing the jobs back from overseas over here. It'd be more cost effective. By but no, no, that work alongside people. Oh, okay. The robot works alongside you, or you program the robot. But the thing is that if 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 my Lou costs a hundred thousand dollars, it should be its technology should be more advanced than this guy. Yeah, I suppose. Hundred thousand dollars? Calling you for a minute. They're just really the city is buying them from a private firm or what? The Lou? Why are they spending all that money on them? On the Lou? Yeah. I don't know. Probably pocket it. Pocket some of it. The loot probably only costs about what? Forty thousand. So this is just the toilet industrial complex. Like any of it. <laughs> right. Which <laughs> is government uh, taxes. Okay, I said I was sorry, people, but I I call this shitty hall, by the way. <laughs> but uh yeah, no, th this this guy ain't building the loos. Okay. It's just that it's it's hard for me to believe that a toilet costs more than this thing. This a, that's right. that's a that's a pretty expensive piece of electronics right there. If that thing gets broken, it will probably cost five fifty thousand or so to uh, wait. Now can not fifty thousand because that costs more than a robot itself. You could just go buy a new one. It will probably cost about ten thousand to fix the piece. You know that broke. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> Greed. Greed is weird uh, because... You put a quarter in it to use it or anything? Or the loot? No. It, that's what it looks like. It looks like it, it, it's designed. 
It looks like it's designed to put a quarter in or a dime yeah. and the door will open for you. And I think that's what they're getting at because when I go to try to use them, they stay locked. And and I, I, I personally think people are living in there. But yeah. if the city is doing that to be mean, hey, you know what? I'll continue to use your bushes. You provide me the bushes and I'm going to use it. Causes bathrooms to get really weird, like while well, we've been traveling and whatnot. Especially Seattle. Seattle's like the worst, it's dude. You gotta, you literally have to like buy French fries or oh, to go you to go to the bathroom, which causes you to go to the bathroom you, more, so you have to pay the shit. You used to have to do that here. We, we didn't. It dawned on me all of a sudden that the people panhandling might not actually be hungry. They might have to shit. Right. You know, right. they might not want to drink. <laughs> they might not be trying to pay the rent. They're just trying to buy something cheap. Right. It's like a how ridiculous is that? Hey, real talk. How does this fucking privatization scheme work? Hey, like, it's great. Well, no. Everybody owns everything, and a few people own everything. They can decide one morning that you have no legal place to shit. And right. And it's illegal to be a living thing that I, stuff. I know how to catch society by the balls. I know how to do that. I never okay. thought I would look at a piece of shit caked on a wall in Seattle and decide to Right on, man. <laughs> oh no, that's what I was, I was hoping you didn't say that because because I'm thinking well, he's gonna say. Mm. say gross, but, but I'm actually happy because that is now a form of civil disobedience. Right. You know what? To hell with paying to shit. I I didn't ask to be born and I didn't ask to have to shit. Right. How dare somebody torture and exploit me? You know. <laughs> right on. Right on. Thing. Oh man, I'm good. Pissed off on this. <laughs> yes. Oh. Hey. Now that now everybody in in that thing knows how passionate to each other. It's a good way to kill the time. How many viewers are there? We we got three. We had as many as seven, but sometimes I think they pop out. And then they go tell their friends that there's something on, and then there's other things that's going on. Because some of the viewers put us on their their live streams, yeah. you know, they piggyback us onto something else. So now, uh, like I'm gonna say, the other night we had a, a person from Canada. Nice. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Canada? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm one of those too. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're she's an immigrant. Oh, Canadian they're Andy. they're saying hello. Hey, um, Fuzzy, I'm going to apologize for this now. <laughs> I think you're right about that, because sometimes I wake up in the morning and I say, MORE! <laughs> enough is never enough. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> what? Is this all? <laughs> I want more. <laughs> I'm going to go ask that guy if I can have another one. <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> Whoa, this thing is delicious. I wonder if they'll give me some more. <laughs> I'm serious. It's, it's innocent. I swear it is. And I understand. I am greedy. I am. You know, because sometimes like, the other day, I found out that I'm not eating to be hungry, you know, to, to cure my hunger, because I've eaten to do that already. And then my friend would come over and they'll say, hey, I got five sandwiches. You want one? And I'll think, I'm not even hungry. But my friend offered, I may as well say yes. And then, I don't know what it is, but I'll pull it out and start eating it. And I'm not even hungry. And then when I finish that, my friend probably will say, hey, I'm going to throw these, get rid of these other ones. Do you want one of these before I get rid of them? And I'll say yes again. Yes. A lot of people in our culture do that. There's just so much excess. Oh, no, I'm serious. And you know what? It's a sin. I understand it is. And, and and I'm trying to atone for my sins and do something really good before I before I punch out, you know? Oh, yeah. If I punch my time card out, you know what I mean? That's why you're here with the camera? You're just buying your way into heaven right now? No, no, no. I, I don't believe in heaven and stuff. I believe in, you know, I'm a, no, this, this, this won't get me into heaven. 
I, I will do something really good. I will. I'm atoning for all my sins I've done when I was a kid. You know, I was bad when you know that. You so you're know, just getting started. Then. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I'm. I haven't even motherfucking gotten. You know, gotten to my motherfucking third grade years yet. You know. Oh, hell yeah. You know, I'm serious, man. And and. You know, I'll jump in the middle of fights that aren't even my fights, knowing that both guys can kick my ass, you know. So I'm like, you know, oh, one of these guys is going to hit me. And, hey, surprisingly, I got great karma. I believe that. They walk away. I'm serious. I'm not saying they walk away friends, but they walk away just to get the colored guy out the middle. <laughs> okay, I said I was sorry, you guys. Sometimes you got to make people feel awkward. Well, no, I, I don't try to do awkwardness because sometimes, you know, that could be the the catalyst that that starts it, you know. I wasn't going to kick your ass. I was just going to talk shit about it. But this colored guy just convinced me to do it. Step out there on the, on the cliff and just jump. Take that leap. Take that step, you know. So I don't try to make it awkward, man. I, I try to, you know, reason and compassion you know, um, I, I I pour on a lot of guilt. That's a good deal. You know. My method almost got that guilt. I was outside oh. the bar where there was a huge fight. Right. And they all sounded so like, everybody who was fighting sounded really, really childish. I don't know, abonics, yelling back and forth in abonics or whatever it's called, just talking really fast and sassy and starting a big fight outside of a bar in Superior, Wisconsin. And I finally laid on the horn of the car and I'm like, this horn sounds better than you guys. Oh. <laughs> you know, I just started like antagonizing everybody and they sounded foolish because they just wanted to fight and stop. And they all like suddenly agreed to be angry at me and then left. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. That was great. It's crazy. And then they just stopped fighting with each other. And like, thank you. I don't want to see people fight. Right on. Like, it was nothing. It was just a mix of like beer and women and men and, you know. And Fuzzy, no. I don't believe that. But I, all I'm saying, it's okay for me to make a record profit and want more. <laughs> no, uh, Fuzzy said, so it's okay for corps, corporations to continue to make record profits and want more. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I'm, my, greed, my greed doesn't justify anybody else's greed. You know, you're greedy for your own reasons. You're greedy for the, you know, I'm greedy just because, you know, I, I can't control myself. <laughs> yeah, all humans have flaws or are susceptible to certain things. Yeah, no. No, hey, like, like this guy right here, that dude right there, he says, I'm going to buy your home. Here, no, you know what? I'll give you the best deal I can give you so you could go buy a home. And then 10 years plan obsolescence. 20 years, 30 years, I'll give you 30 years to pay it off. Knowing you ain't going to pay it off, but on that 30th year, I'm going to yank up the ching And you're going to say, I'm having a problem. Because by then, I'm almost sure, if you're not as rich as I am, then you're going to have problems paying these this house off and, and on the 30th year. And I'm going to take it from you. I'm going to take it from you on the 35th year. That's what I'm going to do. So, so plan our blessings. Take everything for themselves and take it all back. You take oh. the house, you take the land, you take the mineral rights, you take everything for everything, and all of a sudden they own our air. Or water oh, yeah. Or oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think there might be as many as 14 yeah, states sure. where you can't even have this water anymore. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we yeah. got, you talking about water. rain barrels, right? Yeah. Yeah. The rain barrels collect the rainwater? Yeah. Hey, okay, guys. Okay, fact check it for us. Please. Yeah, he told me there's 14 Somebody states, and you guys, you guys better not be letting somebody regulate you on collecting uh, uh, rainwater to water your yards. So, oh, oh, this is secondhand information. Hey, we won. There was no game. Right. All right. That's good. All right, because they, they showed up just, uh. Were they? Yeah, until Mike the
Don't worry, it ain't mad. Like a fucking guy, Huh? Unless you're trying to burn water. Other side. The green stove. Yeah. Really? Over there. Yeah. Go use it, girl. Right. Ow! That's where the uh, police hit me earlier. Yeah. SWAT team. I didn't know they were specialists. All right, um, so here, we're at the top of the hour, you guys, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run somewhere and, and charge this phone up, and I know you guys don't want me to go because this is out by the curb, you guys, and this is where we're doing it, out by the curb and in front of Shitty Hall. I mean, my City fault, Hall. City Hall, City Hall, you guys. This is where they put it all out, fluoride in the water. Uh, they give us a bathroom to use. They're civil about that. They come out and harass us about our signs. Hey, they, they come out and they, they, they harass us about how our sign sits on the sidewalk, even though there's people that can walk by and stuff. And then we got a tent out, the tent out, because somebody is going to come out here and say that that can't be up. But at the same time, we got something in the sidewalk ordinance laws that says uh, that thing can be up for two hours from the time that they come tell us to take it down. So we got two hours to tell them to fuck off. So, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to go down. This is out by the curb, you guys. We're giving you blank stares when you say something like, what? Um. Oh. Yeah, um. Somebody is saying that those park rangers might have showed up to harass people. Cause they didn't show up, the police showed up. No, they said two park rangers showed up. I heard two yeah, park... Yeah, that, that's why I had to leave, because they showed up, because I'm, uh... Oh. I'm, uh, what if, I'm 86 from that park. This is... Hey, I, I know you guys don't see him. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Come on, get up. But this is like Travis Gnome. Leprechaun. This is the Travis Gnome. And Went to the softball game. That's his silhouette right there, that he's really there. So, uh, when they turn on, so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to I'm power down and, and save your story. So, I'm going to power down and we'll be back in an hour. We will. So, okay, OBTC's guys. OBTC's in the house. Yep. Out by the curb. Out by the curb, you guys. Look at Barry on his scooter. Out by the curb. He pulls up to the curb. It's legal. And it's a.